It's crazy. Like, it's really crazy. It's a lot of extra work, a lot of extra It's steps. an insane process. This stuff, it does not mm. move. Mm, bubby wubby boo. Mm. Uh, that's not his chin. On Paranorman, how are we going to animate the faces? Replacement animation. Replacement animation. Replacement animation, where each face is put on and it's a new mouth shape. That's how you get the most out of your characters. So 24 mouth shapes will make up a second of vocabulary or emotion. Actually, we're learning about it in school. Oh, yeah. And what, you know, one of the big things about taking something out and putting a different object in is how it registers, how it's going to appear like the last one. Because if you think about having a different face upwards of 12 to 24 times a second, the color has to be exactly the same. The shape has to be exactly the same. They have to work perfectly. Yeah, of course. Don't get weird or anything. These faces are done with a powder printer. It just lays down a really thin layer of powder until eventually you have a three-dimensional object. Something like this. Yeah, something like this. And you take that face and you dip it into a super glue. Awesome. We've already designed them. We know they work. Now we need to make thousands and thousands of different facial expressions. So you have so much stuff to make. Here's a recipe we use for the film Paranorman. We started out with 8,000 pounds of printing powder. 77 gallons of super glue. 300 puppets. 40,000 faces. 50 stages. 5,000 exacto blades. 66,400 rare earth magnets. 729 sheets of sandpaper. Two gallons of white resin. 25,000 purple nitrile gloves for safety reasons. You need a massive warehouse? Yeah, you need a lot of room. Put those all together and bake for 127 human years. Got yourself a stop motion feature. Yum.